Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Kia XC. This is the plug-in hybrid. We're gonna take an in-depth look. Uh, if you wanna see more, I'm on uh, Zurich Auto Show in Switzerland, so there's gonna be plenty of new cars, so subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notifications when I upload a new video. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hello everyone, so taking a first look at the new Kia XC. Uh, small changes, but uh, we're gonna cover them in this video. So, what's new? Uh, we have a interesting uh, new minimalist Kia badge, very clean, looks more premium. We have a little change on the top grille, so we have this rum pattern, uh, kind of interesting and kind of close, but uh, we have a little air intake perhaps on the bottom there, air intake over here as well, kind of different pattern, greater little uh, aluminium front lip. We saw the uh, X seed, excuse me, on the Pro seed. Uh, new LED headlights, these are uh, still the same, uh, the four lights and the lens inside. Turn signals on the top, fog lights, so that's kind of the same. I'm gonna come to this end. We can see nice protection on the bottom if you're going a little bit off-roading. And interesting alloys, so uh, kind of closed design, but kind of diamond cut. And uh, let's come to the other side. We're gonna check the spec later. So uh, this is also a plug-in hybrid. If we press here, we open the Type 2 for AC charging. So we have nice slim roof racks in silver on the top, silver trim around the doors. Uh, and windows, we have a little uh, tint on the rear, nice and elegant. And what I like about this car is the rear LED uh, lights, daylights, really gorgeous looking, starting from the top, just going around. And from this angle, the car really looks also quite nice. Uh, it's a compact SUV, uh, still fake exhaust. Uh, you can see the real exhaust pipe on the right. Uh, let's check the cargo space. You can see there, opens fairly tall. You can close it up here. Backing camera and two uh, license plate lights. Very spacious cargo space. We have here additional storage. So that's nice. You can maybe uh, hook a first aid there. Have tether points for sides. Uh, this is the end because there's a battery there. You can see that. Again, plug-in hybrid. This is also closed. Grocery hook. I think uh, there's a shelf here missing. Uh, you have a 12 volt outlet. You can put a fire extinguisher here. This is a little bit deep. And this is a, a fuel emergency release. You can see there. Let's close it up. So gorgeous exceed in this beautiful metallic white color. Now let's get on the front. Before we do that, a blind spot with a warning inside. And check out this. So the doors almost go all the way down, but you have this nice protection uh, not to hit other people's cars. Good opening and closing sound. Driver's side has this little button there. Open it up. Nice and soft materials, memory seats, leather soft to the touch, light there, speaker, power window so you can fold, all automatic, and you can lock the rear. Aluminium doorstep, here is some tire pressure information, power seats, lumbar, have some black leather with white stitching and perforated. Nice big bolsters on the top. They look very comfy. Uh, XC carpets with some aluminium doorsteps. And, excuse me, um, aluminium sport paddles. I've mentioned the aluminium doorstep uh, or shown it. And over here we have a light. Uh, we have an illumination for the uh, digital cockpit. We have a side assist, lane assist, uh, traction control, Timing for the charging, uh, hold to open or close the rear and uh, open the fuel 
gap. Let's jump inside. So someone left a steering wheel in an odd position, but nevertheless, we're gonna zoom out. You can see the dash. Maybe lower myself a little bit. So it's kind of familiar, but uh, let's check the details. We're gonna turn it like this so you can see the steering wheel in its natural position. Uh, nice physical buttons. New Kia, again, more minimalist, clean. Uh, nice soft leather on the top. No perforation, it's uh, nice and round. Of course, there's a uh, flat option in the GT line. Uh, light control, wiper controls, uh, nice big uh, screen. Although it looks like it's edge, has an edges uh, on the, behind the plastic there. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the key, so yeah, you can't turn on the infotainment. Um, although this is a bit redesigned, parking sensors, uh, excuse me, uh, parking sensors. I thought for a moment this was for Mercedes. Uh, this is on the plug-in hybrid or electric cars. You have this uh, for the battery uh, level of charge on the top. Nice detail. Uh, this is soft plastics. You have physical buttons here as well still and some touch buttons. Uh, for the shortcuts, you can lock or unlock from the interior. Uh, hazards, passenger airbag information, uh, which shows you start, stop. Uh, nice physical controls for the ACs. A few buttons. Uh, ventilated, heated seats, heated steering wheel, wireless charging. USB A for fast charging, mobile outlet, and excuse me, this one's for fast charging, so two USB A's. This one's, I guess, for data. Wired uh, rubber mat. And then we have this nice new shift to lock. So um, this is smooth leather. Uh, the GT line is perforated. Shift lock, shift lock release, huh? So honestly, I didn't realize this is pressable. That was referring to this. Uh, EV hybrid mode, sport mode, driving modes, uh, parking sensors, and auto parking. Horrible piano black, but this is nice and silver. Kind of nice contrast there. and. I like the red uh, combo in here. It kind of reminds me of Audi in the past. Electronic parking brake, auto hold, old place there for your stuff. Uh, adjustable cup holders, nice rubber mat on the bottom. And of course you can close it up. Uh, so uh, nice armrest, soft, and press here to open. Um, it's kind of dark there we go more light and you have a little carpet there spacious but uh, no cables or anything else on the top we have the lights we have glasses compartment some textile inside as well a uh, nice overview on the rear uh, also here auto dimming I believe from the uh, inside mirror and side mirrors as well uh, this is gray on the top a nice big privacy mirror you can have document holder turn on the light kind of consistent both warm lights and uh, over here let's see if they can extend this this area is shining but it's not extendable unfortunately I saw some cars uh, like the new Sorento do have extendable option or the new Kia EV6 um, and not to forget nice lovely opening kind of plastic but very spacious uh, glove compartment there no AC or similar Seats are excellent, I would say, very comfortable. And let me show you here. So two meter tall person or 6.6. Um, nice, spacious enough room for my head. Uh, SUV style or crossover again. You can see the hood, I feel safer, you're taller, good overview in the car uh, all the way. Now, <laughs> let's check the rear space and then we'll come back and pop the hood. Good closing sound, but I think they need to work, they need to work on the door handles. Uh, rear doors open nice and wide, so if you need to put a child seat, it's not a big deal. Uh, good ceilings. Hard plastic on the rear, but this is soft, this is covered with leather, so it's okay. Power windows and heated seats on the rear. You can knock down the seats, so if you want to see the bench, there you go. Space on the rear. Oops, that was um, a little short, to be honest. Uh, okay, 
I'm gonna push the seat a little bit forward. Okay, uh, if a really tall person like myself was sitting in the front, went all the way rear, uh, it would be a problem. But if an average person is on the front, tall person has okay knee room, you do fit. Uh, feet room also in the lowest position, kind of tight, but enough. Uh, nice uh, strap here. We have AC controls on the rear, uh, no USBs. Uh, small transmission tunnel, very good. This is soft, this is soft. Okay, this is a little bit more stiffer, but still in the soft spot. And okay, let's see if we can turn on the lights. Uh, cup holders, armrest, nice. Wish they actually had a opening for the skis, perhaps. Uh, the seats, very good. And I really gotta say, I love, I love the quality of this leather. It's perforated in the middle. Uh, it looks excellent, to be honest. Now, this window is kind of... Uh, long and fairly tall good overview in the back but this is a massive blind spot uh, good thing you have a uh, blind spot warning there and on the rear uh, sloping roof a problem for a two meter tall person for 190 180 or average person it should be fine to be fair not everyone is tall such as myself um, and the driver's side doesn't have the handle on the top and the little hook is here on the rear uh, nothing on the B pillars, but you can adjust the uh, seat belt height. Some uh, manufacturers are now kind of removing that option. Um, and let's go to the front. I'm gonna check the engine bay and see the powertrain. So plug-in hybrid says on the engine cover. So we got a petrol engine and a electric motor on the right and here's your washer fluid the blue thing have to use the little leg but it is what it is let's leave it to drop so what do you think about the new x seed this is sort of like a kind of a refresh more than a facelift but because it's a plug-in hybrid it's a little bit different a closed front grille so kia xc 1.6 gd I plug-in hybrid style package again we're in Swiss and metallic pearl uh, coat style plus uh, and these are standards I believe price in uh, Swiss francs and we have 105 horsepower I believe this is uh, petrol and there should be a uh, electric motor I believe output but uh, check the video description, I've got to put a link inside. So tell me how do you like the new plug-in hybrid X-Seed? Uh, again, and small details. So on the tires, you have Michelin um, green tires. And uh, so these are 205, if I'm reading cor correctly. Uh, it's upside down, 205, 60R16. So. Yeah, what do you think about this alley design? Uh, this is your fuel cap I forgot to show, but... Uh, so, yeah, 20560 R16. Kind of weird dimension, but uh, I guess it's for the EV. So everyone, thank you for watching. Vehicle person, smash the like button and leave your comments below what you like about the new X-Seed uh, plug-in hybrid. And if you want to see more, again, subscribe, click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos from the Zurich Auto Show. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.